example of how nature has many mysteries that still need to be unlocked, especially when it comes to the body in regards to fighting cancer. Well, let's put it this way. Nature put the tools out there, and it's science job is kind of like to discover what they are and basically figure out why and how it works. A beautiful example of that, let's look at chili peppers. So you may say to yourself, what do chili peppers have to do with cancer? And how can chili peppers actually be utilized in fighting cancer? Well, you'd be quite surprised at how effective chili peppers can be while leaving healthy cells alone huge challenge for most cancer treatments out there today. But let us begin the research as follows. How the heat compound from chili peppers could help kill cancer cells in the citation title, as usual, location partitioning behavior and interaction of capsation with lipid bilayer membrane instead of using intrinsic fluorescence, kind of like the dye, so to say. Printed in the Journal of Physical Chemistry B this August 24, 2015. And let's go right into what the researchers said. The researchers said as follows, capsation, the compound responsible for chili's heat, you know, the type of thing we bite into, kind of burns for some of us out there, is used in creams and sold to relieve pain. So it's nothing that's really that exotic. It's out there, it's around you, it's in tons of consumer products. You just want to know how it works in regards to cancer. And recent research shows that in high doses, it kills prostate cancer cells. Now, researchers are finding clues that help explain how the substance works. That's the video. Their conclusion suggests that one day it could come in a new therapeutic form. Code word for path. But let us proceed. About 10 years ago, researcher, researchers reported that capsation can kill prostate cancer cells in mice while leaving healthy cells unharmed. Kind of makes you wonder if they discovered this 10 years ago, and this is about as far as the research got. Like, what the heck? But translating that dose, humans would require them to eat huge number of chili peppers per day. Figuring out how capsation works can help researchers transform it into an effective drug in the form of an injection or a pill. Henceforth, patent again. The scientists were able to detect, this is kind of interesting, because the capsation, it's not like it's fighting a war or anything like that. It's like the cancer cells are defenseless against the capsation. But let us proceed. The scientists were able to detect how the compound interacts with cell membranes by monitoring its natural fluorescence. Kind of again like a dye, so they could watch it under a microscope. The study showed that capsation lodges in the membranes near the surface, and it's out, like the outside of the cell, add enough of it and the capsation, or part of the cell I should say, and the capsation essentially causes the membranes to come apart. It's not even a fight. In a word, you could think of the capsation basically as kind of like melting the cancer cell away. It's a little bit of analogy, it works, but yeah, that's kind of what it does. It destroys the membrane integrity and therefore, boom. It says, with additional research, this insight could help lead to novel tools against cancer or other conditions. Again, hope that research comes real soon and not another 10 years per se. But however though, think about it, chili peppers and help them fighting cancer, it's actually a pretty cool idea. You know, or I should say the capsation. Think of it, maybe if they even put it in a skin cream, you don't have to inject it or use it as a pill, or maybe including more of these chili peppers, which are high in capsation, into the diet may actually be not such a bad idea. Again, more as researchers know, we know how it basically helps dissolve the cancer cells themselves, but still you have to work on how it actually impacts the cancer stem cells too. But beautiful, promising, and definitely, definitely worth a shot. Again, I truly hope this helps. This is Ralph Church Channel signing off once again. Thank you.